the heavy presence of policemen and an unusual crowd gathered along Muriel Kuala Street's Victoria Island, Lagos, in anticipation of what will become of the young lion. The presence of unfamiliar faces around its den makes the cub more apprehensive and it roars on seeing the crowd. And I met the teacher for this line police compound since two months to now. Like me, they, they give them Campbell meat and goat meat. In the morning, five kg. In the evening, five kg. That is 10 kg every day. Now, the office employ me, Yankari Gerizaf from Bauchi State. My organ no dinner. Your they come here. Every day. They come. Not be a bit in If you get, if you they come Nigeria, they come that place. Two days, three days. Anytime they come in the morning, they come in the afternoon. We tranquilized the uh, the lion. It took us a lot of uh, time because the animal has been excited because of the crowd, and then uh, we have to allow the animal to calm down. And at the end of the day, we succeeded in, in tranquilizing the the I'm lion. Sure. While the Indian national, who is the owner of this large cat, is yet to turn up for investigation, those in charge of the apartment insist it is purely a residential building. So we got the information that we needed and we don't even waste time. So we wrote a letter, we petitioned the Ministry of Environment that we have schools around, it is a residential, it is not a zoo. So we give them the property. Uh, for residential purpose, which they signed the agreements. I told him to report, but instead of him coming down, he, he sent some people to us. And I've told him, I don't want to. I, I want him to come and tell us how he got this uh, lion inside this compound. This member of the largest carnivore family in Africa is relocated to Omuleki Conservation to join another of its feline cousins there. Hopefully. The discovery of the line in a residential area will spur authorities to ensure that laws guiding the ownership of wild animals are strictly enforced.